Let's have a look at the first of our Spanish guitar scales. This is the E harmonic minor scale. Now here's the scale up close. You'll find that um, descending through scales is easier than ascending. So we're going to start with um, looking at the descending line. Um, the root chord here that the scale is going to be based inside is E, E major chord. Okay, so we're starting here on the fourth fret of the high E string and the numbers are going four, one and then zero. So I like to do this with my fourth finger. So four one zero. Next we have three one zero. That's on the second string. So you can put those two together. On the third string we have two and then one. So let's put all that together so far. Now on the fourth string we continue on three two zero. The fifth string is exactly the same three two zero. And then the low E string is the same as the first string because this is low E and this is high E, so it's going to be four one zero exactly the same as the first. So when you do your scale, you might be tempted. Um, to go string by string, it might sound like but what you really want is to join it all together so that each note has an equal distance between it. So your scales should sound nice and smooth. So that's what you're aiming for, a smooth transition. Now let's try and go the ascending way. It's the same numbers, but you're starting now on the sixth string, and the numbers are kind of going backwards, so it'll be zero, one, four, then zero, two, three, zero, two, three, one, two. 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 4. Okay, so we can go ascending. So you're going up and down all in an equal measure. And if you want to put in some extra chords there, I'm doing uh, this F shape, G, and back to E. For my F, um, I'm using fingers 3 and 4 to hold the 3rd fret on the 5th and 4th strings. Then I have my 2nd finger coming here on the 3rd string 2nd fret and I skip over and I, over the, I leave the 2nd string open and I'm using the 1st fret on the 1st string which is an F note and it gives me this kind of Spanish sounding F chord and back into E. And of course the G is just the normal G. Now, 
with the scales, it's important to not just play them up and down, but to also to kind of um, improvise in them. So we'll uh, have a look at that in the next section. Once you're familiar with the chord shape, the next stage is always to try and um, improvise some melodic lines inside the scale. And we're always going to be returning back to our E chord as our point of reference. So you can start anywhere in the scale. All you have to do is obey the correct note positions in the scale and uh, it's going to sound correct. Okay, so you don't have to start at one specific point and you can skip strings and you can put them in any order. The idea is just to use the scale points as building blocks to make melodic lines. So for example, So for there I had no set format that I was doing, I was simply uh, mixing up the melodic lines into phrases and always referencing between an E chord, uh, the F that I showed you, also you can put in A minor and G and um, you're able to just create an atmosphere that's very, um, very flamenco sounding simply by using this harmonic minor scale mixed in with an E chord, F, A minor and G. So it's a great way just to spend a bit of uh, musical time with your guitar to relax and also to develop your, uh, your musical aptitude, your creativity.